Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video three in my series on the RadioMaster TX16S. Uh, in video one, we did uh, basically the basics. We uh, added a new model and we bound it to a receiver. Incidentally, the protocols that I'm going to be using for this entire series both fall under the FR Sky umbrella. I uh, started in uh, uh, we've done some stuff with the D8 protocol, and by the time we're done with the series, we're going to be doing some stuff with the D16 protocol. My intent is to educate using those protocols and Betaflight, but if that is not your flavor of protocol, I still encourage you to watch the video series because the vast majority of the stuff that we're doing here is focused on OpenTX, which is the firmware that runs on your TX16S. So. In video two, we got real familiar with the input screen and the mixes screen, adding a two position arm switch, a three position flight mode switch, and a buzzer, which we actually put on the toggle. So if in fact you're looking at the screen and it doesn't make sense to you, please go back and watch video number two. There's a link in the description to get you there easy. In video three, we're gonna take it up another notch and we're gonna add voice cues to all of these items you see before you. So when you're flying, particularly when you're new, it can be an absolute lifesaver to have a voice call out the switch position that you're in. So say for example you're flying in horizon mode and you get in a little bit of trouble and you want to flip it to angle mode. Well what happens if you flip that switch the other way you end up in acro mode and you don't even know it. That's a perfect example of a potential crash situation that did not necessarily have to occur. And I'm here to tell you right now that adding the voice cues is relatively easy. All right, so where are these voice sounds that I'm talking about? Well, if you go to your radio and you push T4 and T1 towards each other and then press your on button, already you can't see the screen. Let me go ahead and make an adjustment here so you can see the screen. Uh, you're Radio is going to open up in what, what I call the bootloader mode. What you're going to do is take your USB, pop it in the top of the radio, and it is now going to recognize your radio as a USB device. So real quickly, that's what that's going to look like. And then popping up on your screen is going to be two new folders. Now this one we can ignore, and then there's this one. So if you go into your sounds folder, double click, I have deleted all the other languages because I only use the English, and you click on there, there's going to be some sounds there as a default. Now, if you want more sounds, you can go to OpenTX, and then what you're gonna wanna do from OpenTX is you're gonna wanna go, where are you gonna wanna go? Go to links, and then go to OpenTX University, and then go to the Amber Sound Pack. Now the Amber Sound Pack has a lot of great sounds in it. Uh, in, in addition to a lot of great sounds, it even has a few that are a little on the risque side. So you can have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see if I can't find an example. Hey, if it's not too much to ask, can you plug your charger into me? I may need us some good electrons. So anyhow, that's the Amber Pack, and this is where to get the Amber Sound Pack right there. And last but not least are some unique ones that I've created to go along with the functionality that I'm going to incorporate in the series, where you can tune your PID values using just three switches in the radio and have those PIDs called out to you so that you never have to look down from your quad. Things such as pitch derivative, pitch integral, Pitch proportional. All right, and then there's the same thing for roll and yaw. And if you have a hard time finding things like... Angle mode, acro mode, buzzer, horizon mode. Any of those that I'm gonna be using in this video series are all going to be located on my Dropbox. And I will be leaving a bit.ly short link in the description so that you can get to this page without having to type that mess in. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my USB. All right, it's important for you to know that all of those sounds have to be in your sound folder on your SD card, or none of this is going to work. All right, let's get on with it. 
what you're gonna to wanna to do is long press the model button to get us into uh, this menu system right here. And then we are going to page all the way over to special functions. All right, so we are now on the special functions screen. So what you're gonna to to do is short press right here and it's gonna move it to the next field. And we're gonna go ahead and click on it again to where we get an option. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that arm switch that we created in the last video by moving the stick. And that is in the armed position right now. So we, we can start with armed. Uh, now that I've got SF down, I'm gonna go ahead and quick click and get to the next field. And we don't wanna override channel one. We wanna do something different. We want don't be confused by play sound. Play sound is like beeps and system sounds and stuff like that. No, 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 we wanna play a track. So once you get to play track, I'm gonna click it again, go to the next field and check it out. You are going to see all of the sounds that you have from the sounds folder on your SD card. And what we're going to do here is we are doing armed. So I'm gonna go ahead and select armed and the first one's done. So now when I flip the switch armed. and if you don't like it, let's go, let's try this one. There's another arm. Let's see what this one does. Arm motors. Oh, I like that one better. Arm motors. All right. So we're just going to go with that one. I hit return to get to SF2 and now I'm going to quick click to get to the next one. And I got a quick click, quick click again so that it's editable. And now I'm gonna throw the switch in the other position. And there's the other position. Now, click it to get, make it solid, move it over one, play track, select it, move over one. Now this one I want to be disarmed. There's disarm right here, click on it. There it is. And let's take a look at how it sounds. Disarmed, arm motors, disarmed. All right. So now, now that I've kind of showed it to you, I'm gonna go a little bit faster for our three position switch. So return to get me back here. I'm going to SF3, I'm gonna click here to get me further down the line. I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna flip the switch that I wanna flip. And this is SG, this is going to be my angle mode. So select, and then I'm gonna move over here and play track, move over here, and this is gonna be angle mode. So there's angle mode. All right, so now that I've got uh, that one, um, moving down, clicking, clicking, SG in the middle. All right, I sped that up because I think that this is getting kind of repetitive and I'm pretty sure you probably understand what's going on. And just like that, we have created sounds for all three of our switches. Let's see how they sound. Angle mode, horizon mode, acro mode, arm motors, disarmed, buzzer. So in just a couple of minutes, we were able to add all of that functionality to our radio and this is gonna be a lifesaver. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap for this video. This is a rather quick one. In the next video, we're going to take it up a notch again because this is video three and in video four, it is about time that we start doing a little bit more technical stuff. So now what you're seeing here is the firmware version. The latest and greatest as of September 1st, 2020 is 2.3.9. I have already updated the latest and greatest firmware version, but we're going to teach you how to upgrade to the latest and greatest firmware version. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to the firmware, uh, there's also a bootloader that we can make sure is up to date. And then you can be sure that your TX16S is running with the latest and greatest functionality possible because they are working hard on this OpenTX project and uh, new and cool features are coming along all the time. So that will be in the next video. And beyond that, we are really going to get deep, deep into these menus. Uh, we're going to add some more inputs. We're going to add a bunch more mixes. And we are going to be getting deep 
into logical switches and we're going to be adding some more complicated special functions. So stick around because I've got plenty more videos coming along on this uh, Radio Master TX16S using OpenTX and I've got ideas for a lot more videos beyond that. Don't forget that links to all the videos in this series are included in the description below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.